Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning WooCommerce theme development tutorial. This is our part number 35. Inside this video session, guys, we are going to start over working on search form. Now, if I back to browser, this is our layout. And inside this layout, as we can see that this is the template of index.php. Now inside this template, we have rendered all the posts what we have created inside our database. Now inside this index.php, we will have a search form. This search form is only your HTML if we inspect and as we can see that this is only a text box. No form here. If we click on button like go, it will not work. So we want a like search form inside home page like index.php so that when we type any keyword inside this it will go and find inside our product store so first of all we need to customize that because it's not our wordpress form it's a static form so if i back to editor open up the file called index.php because this is the template it is using And inside this, if we go and close all the opened files, go inside this WP content, themes, simple bootstrap theme, and inside this, this is our index.php. Inside this, we have call empty8, which is displaying according to these functions about the pages, as well as this is rendering all about our post. Now, if I scroll down, here we will have call md4 inside this call md4 we will have a search widget as we can see here now we need to customize this form and make it a wordpress search form so if we want to use all about the wordpress search form we need to call a function so if i back to browser simply type git search form wp inside google you will find several different links Click on this developer.wordpress.org and here is the function about gate search form. Inside this, you will find the several documentation about this. So what I will do, I am going to copy this function name and let's say that php and let's say gate search form. Now if we save all these changes back to browser reload our template and inside here as we can see that we have a search form this is the dynamic added search form and it is coming from wordpress now we need to customize this search form is something like with this form so simply if i back to editor either we can use eco or not simply it is going to render all about our search form of wordpress so if we want to actually overwrite or change the layout of this search box we need to use a template file inside wordpress and that is something search form.php so what i will do press ctrl b go inside our themes folder means custom theme folder and inside this I am to create let's say a file called searchform.php and inside this what I will do simply type a message let's say welcome to search box save this content reload this page and as we can see that this is the message what we have written inside searchform.php it means that this is the template file which is rendering the content for this function so simply what i will do if i copy this input group go inside here pasting it here and instead of writing this function here copy and pasting it here now if we save all these changes back to browser reload this page and right now if we inspect that this is the form what we have used in our search form.php 
Now this is the form actually we need to make then make while tapping any keyword inside this it will go and search for the post. Now back to editor, press Ctrl B and go inside any of the theme WP content themes let's that 2019 and inside that we will have the layout for search form.php and I think that that file is not available here so this is close this 2019 go inside 2017 and inside this we will have the layout file called search form.php so what I will do I'm copying all the contents from here go inside this search form.php here close this file first and what I will do remove this unique ID from here and inside this form instead of using this input type search box we want to use our own form so what I will do and inside this form what I will do I am going here it is input type search inside here what I will do first go inside this placeholder and let's say that search for putting three dots and inside here let's add a class and this is something form hyphen control now if we go our browser and reload this page now as we can see that here we will have a search form let's say that we have to now work over this go button so what I will do if I inspect here and inside this we will have this span input group button so what I will do I am to copy this HTML back to editor and putting here so if we save all these changes go and reload this page now we will have a go button with this search form again if we inspect this search for which is our HTML and inside this this is input type text form control and this is placeholder rest we will have a button for that now if I back to editor go inside here what I will do if I go and cut this button pasting inside this span and remove the content from this span tag and let's say simply go also if I scroll here simply toggle word wrap so view toggle word wrap so inside here get rid of this content and simply this is the go button so I am cutting this text from here putting it here and also we want to add btn btn secondary class inside this and removing this button tag from here and this is search for and also we have customized each thing so save this page go and reload now we are getting and I think that we are not getting any message inside this so btn type submit inside here we will have this so what I will do if I go and remove this span from here this is simply go here save this change now we will have a go text this is the search form what is coming from this theme and this is the WordPress search form so what I will do back to index.php here we have the function called which is taking content from this search form and inside here I am to remove this static content so here we will have all the comments to get rid of that so simply we have a search form go and reload this page now this is our WordPress search form so let's say that if we want to type something we have some post like hello world simply we have other post so if we type world here press go button it will go and search for the post and this is our hello world post this is the working of search form of WordPress again if we type something simply only post it is going to find 
with the keyword called post in all the post so successfully guys we have implemented our search form inside this theme in the next video we will work on some functionality of this search form as we know that while typing any keyword it is finding the post only now what we want we want that anyone types any keyword inside this it will not find any post inside this what it will do it will go to our product store at that time we want only the post if we type here something with the product name it will also find the product here inside this listing let's type belt here click on go button now as we can see that we have a belt here but what will happen if we type a product name as well as a post name let's say hello right now there is no product with this matching with this keyword but when we type let's say world it is finding a post but we don't want like this we only search for the available products in our store so we will customize this search form only for the products in the next lecture so inside this video session guys if you have any doubt then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day